I'm Dennis Hobson. And I'm Rob Thomas, filling in for Dion Thompson, who is away this week, but we'll be back again soon. And it's great to be here. Thanks for asking me to come in. I appreciate it, man. Lucky Dion, too, being on vacation. <laughs> so what we thought we would do uh, for this program, because Dion is, is uh, uh, he really carries the show, doesn't he? He, he, does. He's, he does a good job with it. I mean, both of you. He does a great job. <laughs> I'm just here to be a partner of his. That's it. Well, what I thought was we would delve into you and find out a little bit about, about uh, uh, Dennis Hobson okay. and who he is, where you're from, how you got your start, and, okay. and a lot of people in the uh, area know that you're a fantastic basketball player. I think You've I, had an incredible <laughs> career. I think I was blessed. You know, Toledo born, had the opportunity of being around great people my whole life. Mom and dad, brothers and sisters, everybody's played a major part in my growth, and uh, one thing led to another. And I will never ever forget the, the morals and things that I was taught by my family. And um, it carried it all the way through. And now, you know, having the opportunity of being a basketball player, or blessed, I should say, to be a basketball player, now it's my time to turn around and give it back to these young kids here in the city of Toledo. Let's talk about your career. Now, where did you, you played high school ball mm -hmm. where? Toledo Bowser. Um, you know, and it's funny, Rob, because a lot of people don't know this. I didn't play as a freshman in high school. Um, I, again, I thought I was a very immature guy. Um, I had other things or other interests that I cared about, and basketball wasn't one of those those things. So uh, I got my start late. I actually started in, as a sophomore, um, was able to play well as a sophomore, and then the last two or three games into before the season end, ended as a sophomore, the coach bumped me up to varsity. So I think uh, again after my sophomore year and people getting to know who Dennis Hobson was as a basketball player, then that carried over um, being able to play varsity as a sophomore. And one thing led to another, took off from there. Would you say um, you were a late bloomer uh, when it comes to that in high school? I wasn't a late bloomer in regards to the game of basketball. Um, I thought that, or I, I'm going to say that I was a very immature guy. Not okay, a late sure. bloomer. I played the game. Okay. Uh, but it, again, it just wasn't something that I loved to do. I went out and, and it was funny because I was able to go out and, and play at a certain level that a lot of kids probably wouldn't be able to play at uh, without the training. And I was that kid that could go out and pick up a basketball with no training and still be effective and efficient. So not a late bloomer, just somebody that didn't really care about the game of basketball. Some, at time. Sometimes people have that gift, but they don't have the discipline that, that should be accompanied with it. And that's, and that's, that's what, it was. what you de developed. Yeah, that's what it was with me. I, again, the discipline, the, the the structure. Like some kids today, like I train, Coach Hobson, can we get in the gym and train? Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't that kid. You know, I would pick it up when I wanted to pick it up, put it down when I wanted to put it down, but just wanted to do it when I wanted to do it. But was, again, was effective and efficient when I did do it. Uh, describe what your career was like at Bowser. I, I went on to have a, a great career. Um, I was an first team All-State guy. Um, uh, at, at one point in time, I was the, the, the school's all-time leading scorer, all-time leading rebounder, but that since has been broken. Um, but again, I, I was able to take a, something small and turn it into something big. And the reason I was able to turn something small into something big because a lot of people that I was around uh, mentors and teachers and coaches, they saw something in me that I probably didn't see in myself. And again, they just, again, picking up that basketball, they saw, hey, Dennis, you, you, you got a chance to do something good with this game. So again, after hearing that all the time, I, I finally started to take it a little more serious, put more time into it. And Bowser High School was great. Again, I was first team all state. I was city league player of the year. Um, along with some other things that I probably can't think of right now, but the game of basketball at the, on the high school level was great to me. And then what happened? On the Ohio State I went, um, and a lot of people don't know this. Actually, I, I committed to University of Cincinnati, and uh, Ed Badger, he had gotten fired that summer mm -hmm. leading into me going off to school, so I was able to decommit, and that's what I did, and took a, 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 a lucky roll of the dice, picked Ohio State, and Ohio State again, um, knew how to play the game a little bit, mm -hmm. was more gifted, was more athletic than a lot of people that played the game. But when you get to college, you got to learn how to play the game from the neck up. Mm -hmm. So freshman year, I started probably about nine games. And after my freshman year, again, I said, well, you know what? I got a chance of, of, of being pretty good at this game uh, if I just commit more to it. And that's what I did. I, I took a greater commitment to it, started to watch a lot of film. And um, 
So again, it's it's back to that discipline. It's a discipline you, thing. You raise that level. Yeah, it, it's just I, I think me, I was more to playing, you know, joking around and not taking anything serious. And again, I, I you know I finally figured out that the game of basketball could be real good to me, and I started to take it serious. Now. When you take something like that serious, that means it's a greater commitment. That means mm -hmm. that you're going to have to work a little more than probably what you're used to working. And, and that's what I did. I started putting more time into the gym. I started understanding how to play the game the right way. What was your career like with, Ohio, with the Ohio State? You know what? Again, I, I think, first of all, let me say Ohio State University is a very prominent school. And when I, I signed to go there with, uh, on an athletic scholarship, I didn't know how prominent it was. Um, and I'm, I'm just happy and excited. I had the opportunity to compete and play for Ohio State, more importantly, get a degree at Ohio State. But, go, you know, going in, getting a free education, um, not having expectations as being a professional athlete like a lot of these kids do. If you ask them, what do you want to be? I want to be a professional athlete. That wasn't me going in. I just wanted to do something, play basketball, and move on with my life. But again, once I took the game serious, I was able to parlay something again, something small, into something big. And you had records there as well. I do. I'm, I'm the school's all-time leading scorer. I'm the school's um, all-time single-season scorer. Um, again, first-team All-American, first-team All-Big Ten, Big Ten Player of the Year. And again, like I say, Rob, those things weren't something that was a focus of mine when I first started out at Ohio State. I'm speaking with Dennis Hobson, and uh, I'm Rob Thomas filling in for Dion Thompson, uh, who couldn't be here today, but he will be back again for the Dennis and Dion Show. And Dennis here is sharing some of the uh, information uh, with us about his career. So after the Ohio State University, mm -hmm. uh, you, went, you went professional. I went professional. I was, I was the third pick in the 1987 draft to uh, the New Jersey Nets. Uh, I spent three years in New Jersey. Uh, and, and then I started to experience things that I never had experienced at Ohio State, and those were injuries. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, you know, you, you play a lot of games. Uh, I know my, my rookie year, um, you play 80-plus games. You only play 30-plus games in, in college. So, again, that commitment wasn't as great as it should have been leading into my rookie season. And what do I mean by that commitment? The working out period, you know, like on the weights, getting your body disciplined, getting your body trained, to be out to, to go out and compete against grown men yeah, you know, you're, you're not playing against college guys you're playing against <laughs> grown men and you're playing against great players every night mm -hmm. unlike college you might play against a great player once every two games you're playing against great players every single night in a position that I played um, throughout my career in the NBA you know it was tough the, the two position and the three position because you're you're guarding guys that's going to be using a lot of screens and those screens consist of big guys putting a body on you to free it's, up their team. It's teams. more like football, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> almost, it is. Almost, it's just as physical. But, you know, uh, as time went on, you know, I, I got, I got a, a better understanding. I, I understood the discipline that you need, again, to condition your body, train your body to be that, that physical athlete. And, um, you know, again, I was blessed to do something that I never had aspirations of doing. We don't have a lot of time left in this segment, but I want to make sure that we touch on where you are today. Mm -hmm. So you've also, after after playing professionally, you've had an opportunity to coach, coach both college. at the university level and, and uh, high school, and you're, you're back at the collegiate level. I did, man. I started off at Northbrook University uh, with Roley Massimino, uh, rest his soul. I spent two years there, and then I went on to Bowling Green State University where I spent five years with Lewis Orr. That, again, another great guy that, that played the game and it gave me another opportunity to further my college coaching career after Coach Massimino. Um, and then started coaching high school basketball after we were relieved of our duties at Bowling Green for a year. Tough level for me, man, because, you know, you got the, the, the kids and you got the parents. And that wasn't the easiest levels for me. So I stepped down after my, after my first year at Bedford University. And started doing some Bedford High School. Bedford High School. I'm sorry. And started doing some things in the in the community um, that involve kids because again, I, I think that the kids are important. And now um, I'm the head coach at Lord's University. Well, I wish we could spend more time with you. We're just about out of this segment. I'm Rob Thomas with Dennis Hobson, and uh, Dion Thompson will be back next time. Thank you for joining us on this segment of the Dennis and Dion Show.